Lewis Arello. She is here with us now for a look at the forecast here. It's fine there. It's not. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to that landfall. So those preparations should be done by now. Right. Folks are just kind of hunkering down and waiting on this system to pass. Here's the latest uh, from the National Hurricane Center. This is that 4 p.m. advisory. Milton is a category three hurricane. Wind sustained 120 miles per hour. You can see it's getting very close to shore. We do expect landfall south of the Tampa area here over the next couple of hours. We are going to bring in Jason for more details in just a second, but I wanted to uh, give you a closer look at what we've got going on across our area and we've got temperatures at this point in the low to mid 80s in a lot of spots. Look at Coleman though, 79 degrees. All of us enjoying a nice blue sky through the rest of the evening. The sky is clear. We eventually drop into the 50s early tomorrow morning. Then tomorrow we get lots of sun at high in the low 80s and a very pleasant forecast for us. 9 a.m. temperature mid to upper 60s right around lunchtime mid to upper 70s. Then we do end up in the low 80s through the late afternoon. But of course, as I mentioned, we just got that new advisory in from the National Hurricane Center. We're awaiting landfall from Milton. Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Jason Simpson for the latest. At this point, we think Milton's going to be inland before midnight. Uh, the eye wall getting very, very close to the coastline as seen from the radar here at Tampa. You can see it's a very big eye moving inland very close to Sarasota. Now this could be a very good thing for Tampa itself as well as St. Petersburg. If the eye indeed does go towards Sarasota County, that will limit the storm surge in Tampa Bay, but it's still going to be significant, maybe more than five to 10 feet. The worst of the surge, like from Sarasota, Bradenton, uh, down toward the Fort Myers area where they could be higher than 10 to 15 feet, because regardless of what these numbers say right now, that surge is already baked into the equation and headed toward the Florida coastline. Category three hurricane here at 4 p.m. That's the latest position. It will move inland and look at the big wind field here. Hurricane force winds getting up into Orange County down around uh, uh, Winter Haven as well as uh, Dr. Phillips area. Uh, Disney World up toward downtown Orlando. Hurricane force gusts are possible there. A 90 mile per hour core with this over Winter Haven early tomorrow morning. Then it moves over Merritt Island and then out to sea. So the hurricane force and tropical storm force winds will slow down during the day Thursday. So the airports may be able to open again here either Thursday night or Friday in Orlando as well as in Tampa. The reason that Milton looks a lot different today is because of wind shear and dry air. Look at that wind starting to cut in on the west side, pulling the dry air into it. That tends to disrupt it. And while that's good news for the wind, that surge is already headed into Florida. We'll keep you updated on Milton. And of course, as Taylor mentioned, the weather around here looking fantastic, but we do have a big cool down and she'll have that in your seven day forecast coming up.